Hello, everyone. My name is Che Guan Lim. I am professor at Dongmyeong University, Department of Distribution Management. It's my great honor to introduce my FAB today. My FAB is the effect of the quality of entrepreneurship education and the student participation on entrepreneurial competence and uh, entrepreneurial intention. The contents of a presentation is from introduction to conclusion. Uh, it is back in 2012 uh, that Korean University started uh, full-scale entrepreneurship education and uh, started supporting student entrepreneurship at the time as part of link project for industry and university corporations. Entrepreneurship Education Center was established in each university and startup education and uh, student startup programs at the center were made and supported. Since then, the university's entrepreneurship education has uh, contributed to the expansion of the university's entrepreneurship cults and the creation of a student entrepreneurship ecosystem. In addition, the government and the local governments arrange a lot of uh, budget and uh, ex exit uh, active support for startup education and entrepreneurship, which is in increased as a breakthrough in the solving youth uh, employment difficulties. However, despite these efforts, the performance of programs is still not as expected in that they did not increase the students' willingness to make a startup and improve the entrepreneurial uh, competence and uh, even connect to the actual business. Uh, from this point of view, this study was carried out in the sense of a problem that the outcome of entrepreneurship education will also change according to the quality of entrepreneurship education and the student uh, participation. The purpose of this study is not only to investigate the qu qualitative uh, characteristics of a university entrepreneurship education, but also to structurally prove the fact that participants' willingness and effort in entrepreneurship education uh, may affect entrepreneurship uh, competence and the entrepreneurial competence impact entrepreneurial intention. Uh, from now on, I will introduce the literature review uh, for this paper. The first, the uh, concept of entrepreneurship education. Entrepreneurship education is one that teach that knowledge, function, attitude, and the value necessary to start and operate the business successfully. This means that Entrepreneurship education is a process that uh, provides not only uh, preliminary founders but also potential workers uh, with various learning to help them perform this work in the company. Therefore, the goal of entrepreneurship education should not only be uh, to implement entrepreneurship but also to cultivate future uh, talent by developing the ability to learn various com uh, competence and uh, skills and capture business opportunities. In other words, in addition to knowledge and uh, partial uh, practical skills about startups, it is necessary to design and uh, operate uh, curriculums considering education purpose that instill positive value for startups and improve creative thinking and the collaboration ability to develop problem solving capabilities. The second, quality of entrepreneurship education. 
uh, various studies on the quality are uh, actively uh, conducted in the field of education and the service. And the de uh, definition of quality is used in the various managing and show different difference in the viewpoint of quality according to the field of each uh, discipline. This study is to apply the category of education as a process for providing uh, intangible service. This means that the university that provides education service can change the level of satisfaction of student by uh, grasping the variable that affect the expectation and the perceived value of educational service and managing or adjusting them. Third, participation in entrepreneurship education. The participation of education can be defined as motivation, attention, interest, active, and positive attitude towards learning, and can be discussed as a voluntary learning attitude uh, towards education. The degree of uh, class uh, participants is the cognitive, affective, and uh, behaving response that are uh, seen uh, voluntarily and uh, actively before and after the class. And it is also an internal process of learning uh, that show how much the student contributes to class times. Therefore, the degree of participation in the entrepreneurship education can be divided into that of entrepreneurship education, which is a theoretical entrepreneurship education, the type in each credit are recognized uh, regardless of base and non-base, and that of the entrepreneurship experience, uh, which is the problem of uh, practice or uh, experience activities related to entrepreneurship in and uh, out of school. Fourth, entrepreneurship competence. The competence is uh, basically used as one of the various terms of human ability, and the criteria for the competence are judged by whether or not they can do jobs. Therefore, increased entrepreneurial uh, competence means that positive selection or actual work can be explained through various experience or learnings. And it that way to entrepreneurial competence is the ability to recognize or opportunity of entrepreneurial success with a high possibility of success uh, by preparing in the advance. Fifth, entrepreneurial intentions. Entrepreneur, entrepreneurship is the process of uh, creating a business uh, organization and the entrepreneurial intention is a, a psychological state that deals with interest and the behavior in startup. Such an entrepreneurial intention is an important various variable that has a close relationship with that behavior related to startup. The will to start business is not only a self -innovate, innovative characteristic, but also uh, a reliance, a resilience that allows the nation, a local economy, or organization to escape from the uh, recession. The, the result of previous studies on the entrepreneurship education and the entrepreneurial intentions are summarized as follows. Satisfaction with entrepreneurship education affect uh, entrepreneurship intention and the increased start-up. Understanding of start-up and the entrepreneurial intentions are necessary as a uh, prescriptivity for entrepreneurship. Uh, from now, I'd like to introduce the research model, hypothesis, uh, and uh, data collection, and the research methodology. 
As a result of analyzing previous studies, it was found that willing to start a business and entrepreneurial competence are important factors among various factors for success in entrepreneurship. And it can be seen that although uh, there is an uh, inborn nature of entrepreneurship and competence, uh, most of them can be cultivated through e uh, efforts through uh, education. In addition, it was confirmed that entrepreneurship education has uh, contributed to the enhancement of entrepreneurship uh, competence and the entrepreneurship uh, willingness. Therefore, it is uh, possible to conceive the then structural relationship that entrepreneurship and competence will be strengthened according to the entrepreneurship education in university and student uh, participation will uh, which will affect the entrepreneurship will of students. In this study, the research model and the research hypothesis were set up as follows to empirically investigate the structural relationship of each relationship based on the previous study. The research model is shown in the following picture. Uh, based on the above research models, the following hypotheses were set to verify the effect uh, over the quality of entrepreneurship education and the, the participation in the entrepreneurship education on the entrepreneurship competence and the entrepreneurial intention on the part of a student participation in entrepreneurship. The hypothesis is uh, one, the quality of entrepreneurship education is university, uh, in university will have a positive effect on the participation of a university student in the education. The second hypothesis is the quality of entrepreneurship education in university will have a positive effect on the student entrepreneurship competence. The third uh, hypothesis, university student participation in entrepreneurship education will have a positive effect on the student entrepreneurship competence. The fourth hypothesis is the quality of uh, university entrepreneurship education will have a positive effect on the student intention to start a business. The fifth hypothesis, the participation of a university student in entrepreneurship education will have a positive effect on the student's intention to start entrepreneurship. The sixth hypothesis, university student entrepreneurship competence will have a positive effect on the entrepreneurial intention. The empirical study was conducted based on the data collection through the survey. The survey was conducted from the early January 2020 to the end of May 2020 for students who have experience in entrepreneurship education at university in Busan, uh, Ulsan and uh, uh, Gyeongnam province. Uh, the survey method was uh, conducted in a parallel with the PACE 2 PACE uh, survey and the online survey to, in, uh, to increase the recovery rate. The frequency analysis uh, was conducted uh, using uh, SPSS 26 version to analyze the current status of data collected through the survey. In addition, a reliability analysis and exploratory factor analysis were conducted to verify the reliability and the validity of measurement tools. And the confirmatory factor analysis, correlation analysis, and the structural uh, equation model analysis was conducted to the, uh, verify to research hypothesis uh, of this study 
using AMOS 26 version. To the next, I conducted a survey to measure uh, variables. I used the seven items to measure uh, the quality of entrepreneurship education and the seven items to, for participation in the entrepreneurship education and six items for uh, entrepreneurship competence. Finally, five, uh, five items for entrepreneurial intention by interval scale. And uh, uh, I used uh, three items uh, to measure the general demographic uh, characteristics by nominal scale. The result of uh, the analysis of demographic characteristics as shown in the table. Uh, first, uh, the gender status of uh, respondents uh, for uh, this study. Uh, first, uh, the gender status of uh, the respondents was 55.3% uh, and the female is 44.7%. Uh, uh, second, the status of a grade uh, status was uh, analyzed of 84.9% uh, uh, of first uh, degree and 16.6% uh, 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 for second grade uh, and 25.8% uh, 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 for uh, junior grade and 51.7% uh, for uh, uh, senior grade. And third, in the current status of majors, the 32.5% uh, for engineering and 24.4% uh, social science and uh, uh, 18.6% uh, for arts and uh, physical and 15.4% uh, uh, of for humanist humanity and 10.0% uh, 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 as, as and so on study used the chrome alpha uh, coefficient showing in the inter uh, internal consistency of the data in order to analyze the reliability of our measurement tools. In addition, factor analysis was conducted to verify the validity of our measurement items. The factor analysis was performed by using the Berimax rotation um, method by the principal's component analysis. And only the factor with the eigenvalue of uh, uh, 1.0 or more was analyzed. analyzed. The reliability analysis and the exploratory factor analysis were conducted to verify the reliability and the validity of each construct, such as the quality of entrepreneurship education, uh, participation in entrepreneurship education, uh, entrepreneurial competence, and the entrepreneurial intention. As you shown in the table, the exploratory factor analysis shown that the four uh, factors were extracted. And these four uh, factors explained 64.2% of the total variance. As a result of factor analysis, factor 1 was found, founded to be participation in edu uh, entrepreneurship education and factor 2 was the quality of entrepreneurship uh, education quality factor 3 is the entrepreneurial competence and uh, factor 4 is the uh, entrepreneurial uh, intention a confirmatory factor analysis was conducted to verify the convergent validity of the research unit included in this research model in this study, the value of the individual measurement item of the theoretical variables was used and the scale was refined based on the covariance modification index of 10 or more of the measurement item error 
and the result of a component factor analysis is to as follow table uh, 3. As a result of analysis, analyzing the component factor on the theoretical variable such as the uh, entrepreneurship education, participation in uh, entrepreneurship education, uh, entrepreneurial competence and uh, entrepreneurship intention. The overall fit in fitting index was founded to appropriate. In addition, when evaluating the representativeness of uh, the scale using the poor effect construct reliable, reliability, CR, and uh, average barrier, uh, variance extract AVE among the research unit showed higher construct reliability of the each research uh, unit than uh, 0.7 as a general standard, and the AVE value was higher than uh, 0.5. So conversion validity was uh, verified because it can be said that the item used in this study have a presentativeness for research unit. And next, uh, correlation analysis between the constructs. In order to verify the discriminant validity between each factor uh, whose conversion to validity was verified by the complementary factor analysis result. Correlation analysis between each factor was conducted, and uh, the result are same as table 4. The result of a verification a discrimi uh, discrimination validity uh, by comparing the scale of the correlation with uh, AVE showed AVE is more than 0 0.5 and, and is uh, and uh, is larger than the scale value of a correlation. So it was analyzed that there is a discriminant uh, validity. This study is to understand the, the structural causal uh, relation, casual relationship between the quality of a university entrepreneurship education, university student participation in the education, entrepreneurship competence and entrepreneurial intention. The result of verifying the overall structure model between its variables and the hypothesis of verification result as a follow table 5 and the figure 2. As shown in the table, uh, five hypotheses were adapted as a result of the hypothesis test, but the post hypothesis was uh, rejected. As a result of uh, examining the overall structural model of the research unit, such as the quality of uh, entrepreneurship education, uh, participation in entrepreneurship education, entrepreneurial uh, capacity, and entrepreneurial intention used in this study, Kaiser. Uh, and uh, another fitting uh, index uh, uh, were derived, which means that the structural model was uh, uh, statistically appropriate. In addition, the result of a research hypothesis verification on the structural relationship between the quality of uh, entrepreneurship education, participation in entrepreneurship education, entrepreneurial competence and the entrepreneurial intention are all uh, follow as follows. Finally, I'd like to tell you the conclusion. In order, uh, in order for university students to start a successful business after graduating and uh, entering society, it is necessary to make an effort, effort to establish their competence as a, a founder through the systematic education and the various experience during college. In the meantime, a university and the government uh, uh, agencies in Korea have made a lot of effort, effort to educate and support 
for startups in addition the employment education in the direction of another career path for university students. From this point of view, this study empirically investigates how much performance and entrepreneurship education of the university promote a lesson tree in the practical direction is achieved. For this purpose, a survey was conducted over 360 students who had taken entrepreneurship education at universities in Busan, Ulsan, and Gyeongnam area. And based on this, the structural relations between the entrepreneurship education quality, entrepreneurship education participation, entrepreneurship uh, ability, and entrepreneurial intention was empirically investigated. As a result of the study, the quality of entrepreneurship education had a significant effect on the participation of entrepreneurial uh, education. And the quality of entrepreneurship education had participation in entrepreneurship education had a significant effect on the enhancement of entrepreneurship competence and the intention of entrepreneurship. In detail, it was confirmed that uh, there was a direct and indirect significant relationship among these individual factors. However, it was confirmed that there was no direct influence relationship between the quality of entrepreneurship education and the intention to start a business. In conclusion, it is important to educate entrepreneurs to succeed in the starting a business. And it is necessary to educate entrepreneurs to improve the, their entrepreneurial competence and to consistently enhance their willingness to start a business. In addition, it was empirically verified that the more positive and the active the, uh, participation intention of entrepreneurship education, the more the entrepreneurial uh, competence and the entrepreneurial intention are enriched. Therefore, in order to improve the university student uh, entrepreneur will, it is necessary to educate entrepreneurial minds set to the enhance entrepreneurship from the long term perspective. In this necessity to make a pro a pro proactive uh, active, uh, efforts of uh, university to improve uh, part, uh, practical knowledge and the skill necessary for entrepreneurship and uh, provide field-oriented uh, education and uh, experimental learning. However, it should not be uh, forgotten that Entrepreneurs' education is not only an education to implement entrepreneurship, but also an education to cultivate uh, future uh, talent that enhance students' uh, creativity, uh, creativity and uh, problem-solving ability. Uh, all of this, I'm going to finish my, all my uh, research presentation. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much.